Uh, it's just a little after seven, and we we're starting the vlog again. Uh, we we pushed our date time a little a little later. We got more time done on the day. More work was done. I am almost done working on the kitchen for this next next project. I break the projects up into small chunks that are easy to handle that way. You're not too disappointed in terms of, oh man, I've got so far to go. The smaller you break up your project in, into chunks, the better. Uh, okay, then, so that way you can fin finish two or three projects during the day, these sub-projects, and that makes you feel better and helps you move along. So the research desk is now fully functional. It's all ready for September, but it's already in work. It's already uh, sort of fulfilling its purpose where I can read things. I can I, I can check things out while I'm doing the YouTube uh, 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 YouTube stroll. I've extended that out so I can do... Uh, I'm, I'm very comfortable here. I'm actually more comfortable than I am in the front room. And uh, in terms of the actual research, I can do just as much here. The, there is no functional limitation to what I can do here, so happy with it. Well, let's see, let's see how, how many of the vlogging families are no longer doing the, are no longer doing daily vlogging or relying on other forms of income for uh, their uh, sort of continued success, if you will. It is uh, oh, one o'clock in the morning. Morning, just around there, quarter past, quarter past one. And you know you're going into the burnout stage where things just are moving very slowly along. Um, slowly going around the uh, my, on my YouTube stroll. I was at uh, Yowie Vlogs. We started there. We started there. Putting like a thoughts together is difficult. With this. Uh, we started at Yali Vlogs. Uh, they were having, uh, they were at their second house at the pool uh, with family over. Uh, interesting vlog. It, then it, this is kind of the vlog that uh, in this generation and, and with uh, our family, uh, with our, our life as uh, Cyborg Alpha. Uh, it's from there I took the, the, from there, you are worth it. Well, sometimes I'm not always worth it, but. Regardless, no refunds. You know, it's it's an attitude that uh, says I'm regardless of whether I succeed or fail, I'm moving forward. Uh, it's sort of like the whole thing as if you, the first time you fail, you keep, tr keep trying again. I went over. Sorry, I then went over to is our life. Uh, they did a Q and A. Uh, a different way than it before it was done in their car, and they added in clips to the Q and A. So it wasn't just simply a Q and a, 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 a straight answer Q and A. It was Q, then the answer, and then a clip. Q, the answer, then a clip. And so it was, it was an interesting mix-up on the uh, standard Q, uh, YouTube Q and A uh, at, at the uh, Leroy's. Uh, that's where I went next to the Leroy's. At the Leroy's, uh, Reese was doing the cooking for the Sunday dinner. And so they showed that. And then uh, I think Rhett came home from his camping trip with his, uh, with his, uh, his uh, cousins. Uh, I guess it's uh, Corey's uh, sister. And from there, I went to our family nest, and at our family nest, they're 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 uh, picking up get picking up a new puppy. They seem to like animals, and they particularly are fond of puppies. And they raise them from when they were quite young, actually. So it's interesting to see how the process goes. Uh, and then I was I was there from when they uh, got the uh, the uh, the two golden retrievers and as puppies and. 
and the mom uh, on, on our our family nest took him into her room, even with the husband there, and treated them like babies. You know, there was a crib. There, you know, if they needed to, they were in the bed. It it, it was pretty much that she became the the the, 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 the basically the mother of the puppies. Uh, the called the alpha the alpha wolf alpha female wolf. And then the alpha male wolf, if uh, you did anything on, on wolf behavior, uh, it's actually the alpha female that is the one who's in charge of the pack. Uh, the, the alpha male answers to the alpha female. And so does the rest of the pack. and Because she's the one who raises all the puppies. And she doesn't, it's not necessarily about being perfect. This is just simply the way it is. So now uh, I'm at a point where I'm moving on next to uh, uh, our um, uh, Family 5 logs. And then from there, it's Friday, so I'll check out Clintus. And then I think I have a couple others on the side already popping up that I can go take a look at and sort of add to the YouTube stroll as we move along for into the weekend. But I'm already telling the week, I can tell for right now, because it's a Saturday... Saturday and Sunday is gonna be one long twenty-hour day, and I'm already moved, coming coming into the thing burnt out, so it's gonna be a rather rough weekend. This is what would usually trip me up in the in the vlogging process. This is what happened uh, under uh, Big Bang CRL. I just get to a point where I was so tired that I just had to drop things, and when they did drop, it was hard picking up and starting over again from where you left from where you left off, but. Uh, We'll see how we get to the pro through this. So, well, last time I vlogged it was around one o'clock. Now it's around uh, six six a.m. Uh, it's time to end the vlog for the day, um, and we'll start in basically a couple hours from now. I am moving into a burnout stage. It's going to be a very very rough weekend. Uh, I'm a little behind on my editing. I should have edited today, but I didn't wasn't able to get to it. A large chunk of it, uh, in terms of dealing with burnout, is you need hydration. And hydration does resolve some of the problem, but doesn't resolve all the problems. Uh, and this is where you can get in, into a bit of a funk, uh, in talking about uh, being an infant tween and sort of... Uh, uh, and we'll get more back into, it, it, get, get more into the back-to-school routine around mid-August. Uh, right now... That's still uh, a couple weeks away. Normally, right now, I'd be up at I'd be up at a, a nice little village called Prophet Elias. Uh, that's where I have my trailer, and everyone's done their vaca their trailer vacations where they've gone up to uh, various wilderness places and sort of spent a bit of time up there. I would normally be up there, but uh, again, things came into uh, the environment, into my environment, into the schedule that was not anticipated and it threw off uh, a large chunk of the summer. Uh, but I was able to, rather than sitting here, uh, you know, in heat, I found a way to cool off the place. And so now it's relatively cool. Uh, normally I'd be without the shirt, but uh, I decided it looked better with the shirt than without the shirt and it doesn't take too long to, to do the uh, segment. So. What are you going to do? I did find extra vlogs to put into the YouTube stroll. So I'm on a second, sort of a second leg of the YouTube stroll. Excuse me. I will be doing more. I hope to catch up on editing this weekend because this weekend is going to be a single vlog for Saturday and Sunday because it's a 20 hour day. So maybe if I can sit down later on tonight and edit two or three vlogs, but not necessarily put them out, just put the one or two vlogs out, so to keep up. Uh, that will get me back on the schedule and sort of get me ahead of the schedule, once again, on in terms of editing. Uh, that things will be all right. One of the, one of the things that was talked about, and, and it's... Uh, it's our life, is they were talking to uh, the kids about uh, why don't the kids vlog. 
Um, this was talked about Capri and Brindley and even Evie. And they came out and said, the, said, said what I had said earlier. And this is, I think, true for most vloggers. When the camera turns on, you don't know what to say. It's almost as if everything goes blank. And, and so it almost ends up being just a hello, hi, and that's it. The conversation dies. It does take a bit of practice in order to get the conversation to be there. Uh, but the thing is, if you never... And the other thing is, you have to be willing to suck enough in public uh, so that eventually at some point in time you're going to get good. Oh, there goes the sound again. Uh, and that's sort of the case. And the thing is, is it, if you... And this is the thing is, the, the, the whole thing with the... Uh, um, you are worth it from, from, from the Tannerites, from the Yowie vlogs. What happens if you feel that you're not worth it? And this is a real concern, because a lot of that happens, you see people get down. And it takes a while for them to get out of the funk. From my perspective, this is the way I approach it, is, well, no refunds. Doesn't matter if I'm worth it or not. You have to move forward to move forward, and there is no other way to go other than forward. So at some point in time, you take your breaks. You, that's what I did today. I took some extra uh, time to sleep, and of course, I pushed everything off the schedule. Now I'm feeling somewhat better, but I still still feel the droopiness. That comes with being somewhat burnt out because my day is 24-7. Anyways, as I said before, it doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not. No refunds.